Now joining us in the hot seat, the business spotlight, which we love to do, where we love to talk to our local owners and business people. Mr. R.D. White, the owner of Aqua Plumbing, one of the most well-established, most reputable businesses here in Las Vegas for all your plumbing needs. Welcome to Vegas and Wrap, Mr. Artie. Thank you. Thank you for having me. How are you? Wonderful. You want to introduce your guest who you brought with you? I Let's at least recognize her. I brought my wonderful wife, Becky, with me to the studio today. Becky's in the house. Hi, Becky. Hi. I'm She's actually gonna... his boss. He just... oh. <laughs> See, that's the real boss. There you go. <laughs> Always works out that way, right? Well, happy life. Happy, happy wife. There you go. You or got it. The other way around. Uh, probably, it's all right. right. Either way, it creates happiness. All right. So, Artie, let's tell our audience a little bit about your background, how you got started in this, and really the birth of Aqua Plumbing. Why don't we start there? All right. I, I decided to become a plumbing contractor in 1992. I had a big push from a gentleman by the name of Steve Holly. I worked at Classic Plumbing for years. Uh, I was, uh, I actually entered into the plumbing industry in 1980, November 1 of 1980, and then ironically, uh, November 1 of 1992, I became a contractor and uh, be became a plumbing contractor from that day. Cool. And what gave birth to your own company? Now, you worked for that company for how long? I worked for uh, Classic Plumbing for 12 years. Okay. 12 years to the day. And after that 12 years is when you started Aqua Plumbing? We started Lakewood Plumbing back in the day, and we were, uh, we, we performed new new uh, new production plumbing and new homes only and with the building boom the way it, the way it had shaken out in Las Vegas uh, we saw the need the great need for plumbing service and repair so we decided to open aqua plumbing and and terminate in plumbing production homes you know brand new homes gotcha gotcha well obviously uh, that was a wise move yes it was <laughs> because you must have seen the future that, uh, well, the industry, of course, the real estate industry, we all know, had its greatest upturn around 2005, dropped down, now it's coming back a little bit, but for the repair business, you're always in need, right? Yes. Uh, I recognized, you know, performing new plumbing systems. I realized uh, after, after performing for a long, long time, plumbing systems need maintenance, and they're, don't, they're not designed to last forever. They, they can't last forever. And, and we saw a need, just like an automobile, they, the plumbing systems in your homes and buildings need maintenance. When, what is the one, you know, I was thinking about this on the way in tonight. You know, we're in the desert, and i got to imagine that some of the problems we have here in our weather condition and in our desert might be a little bit different than certain situations in other parts of the country. Are there any differences in some of the things you're seeing in terms of repairs because we're in a dry environment here? versus, let's say, somebody, your, your counterpart who's in the East Coast or in Chicago where things are more humid and, and wetter? Are there differences or a leak's a leak? There, yeah, there's really no differences. Uh, the, the plumbing systems in New Jersey, per se, are, are very similar to here. Okay. Uh, geographical conditions will create a situation where you've simply got to bury the pipes deeper in colder climates. Okay. Uh, we don't have to bury the piping underground here in Las Vegas near as deep, uh, but you're, you hit the nail right on the head, Phil. It's uh, a leak's a leak. Right. Okay. Mr. Cash? Well, I was kind of wondering, I mean, you know, when, when I think of plumbing, of course, I think, I, I think of the pipes, all right? And there aren't any moving parts in the pipes themselves, right? I mean, that's pretty accurate. When I, I'm, where, where I'm coming from on this is, you know, where, where should it break down? Is it in the material that causes the leak? Or is it the corrosiveness of the of the fluid that goes through it that causes something like that? I mean, I would think those are pretty strong pipes, right? How does how does it get leaked? The plumbing systems that are designed today, and and the same as they were they were designed years ago, they're very robust. Uh, the minerals in the water can have an adverse effect on certain plumbing piping. All plumbing piping, as as you pointed out, cash the there's no moving parts, but plumbing piping is subject to a lot of expansion and contraction, and metallic piping is a product of the earth, and the water tries to reclaim the minerals out of that piping, and that's when piping deteriorates. Gotcha. See, I was wondering where the connection was. Mm -hmm. Now, for years and years, I was always told that uh, copper, copper piping was the best for you know, homes and stuff like that. Does that still hold true today? Copper piping back in in the uh, in the 70s, 80s, 60s, 70s, 80s uh, was actually the best. It was the product of use, not only because of the fact that it was very durable, but it was also cost effective. Uh, 
with technology, piping, different types of piping have come a long, long way. And there is plastic piping out now that will outlive copper because it is not a product of the earth and the water cannot reclaim those minerals back to the earth. That's wild. That's really interesting, too. I mean, mm -hmm. what do we know about plumbing? Right? Yeah, exactly. And that's, that's wild. What, what, what should some families do to maintain, uh, you know, the integrity of the plumbing in their home? That's an excellent question, Cash. The best thing to do for your plumbing system is remain uh, vigilant. 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 I know a couple of vigilant. <laughs> <laughs> no, <laughs> vigilant. Uh, plumbing systems are a, a maintenanceable system, just like an automobile. Uh, visual inspection is primarily the best way to determine whether or not you've got a plumbing problem getting ready to occur. If you've got, you know, you've got uh, valves underneath all of your cabinets and below all your sinks and out by your water heater and and uh, if you happen to notice as a homeowner, a building owner, a tenant, that you've got like a snowball substance growing on the piping, that is an indication of possible failure. Wow. What, what is that substance? Is it calcium? It's calcium. It's mineral deposits. Uh, you know, plumbing systems tend to condensate. They can seep if they're not uh, completely you know, watertight. And uh, again, they're, they're, they're a maintenanceable item. Hot and cold water pipes expand and contract tremendously. The valves are made of a different material than the copper that they're connected to or the plastic that they're connected to. So the expansion and contraction is a little bit different within, with, amongst those materials. So they grow and they shrink at different rates. And that's where you'll start to get used, uh, uh, wear patterns and possible, possible leaks. Little tiny leaks that can turn into big problems later. For those who don't know, Las Vegas probably has some of the hardest water in, in America. Now, if somebody has a soft water system, will that help the plumbing as opposed to having the, you know, just using the regular water that we use in the daytime today? Yes, it can. Um, water softener systems will reduce the amount of the minerals that you'll find on your faucets. You know, you get that white flaky material substance on your faucet. We call it the aerator where the uh, where the water comes out and it leaves the faucet for you to use it, you'll notice less buildup if you've got a water softener system because the minerals are ultimately, they've been taken out of that water. And we in the plumbing profession, we, 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 uh, we call our water Colorado River water. Because that's what it is. <laughs> a lot of mineral content. The Colorado mm -hmm. River has a tremendous amount of minerals in it. It's really good for the human, the human being, the skin, but it's hard on plumbing mm -hmm. materials. Interesting. Real quickly, uh, before we go to break, uh, give out phone number, websites, so our listeners uh, have that for you. All right, very good. Uh, again, it's Aqua Plumbing. Our, we're locally owned and operated. Our number is 642-8400, and our website is aquaplumbinglv.net. Very good. All right, we're going to step aside for a bottom of the hour break. When we come back, we're going to find out from Marty what makes Aqua Plumbing unique in today's industry here in Las Vegas and why he should be the first call if you have a problem. Vegas and Rap, Phillips and Cash, Bobcat on the board. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back.